So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this says the square root of negative c to the fourth. Now, this gets a little confusing because you think, oh, you can't take the square root of a negative number, right? But this kind of goes back to why, when I was talking about including the absolute value sign and stuff. We don't have to include an absolute value sign in this problem, but let's look at it. Negative c, um, if you just did negative 3c to the fourth power, you would not get, um, you would not get a, a negative um, a value. You can take the negative square root of this because we can say this is the same thing as negative 3c squared squared, right? So you're not taking the square root of a negative number yet. You can rewrite this as square, therefore your square root and your second squaring are going to undo each other, leaving you just with a negative 3c squared, which is equal to negative 3c times negative 3c, which is equal to 9c squared. It's going to be positive 9. 